Hello and welcome back. Uh, my eyes lit up uh, when I saw these in the Indian grocery store. This is called a Tinda. I uh, seldom get it here. And uh, it's also called as the Indian baby pumpkin. Uh, lots of names. Um, but this is something I grew up with. Uh, and my aunt Anuradha used to make a fantastic dish. This video is dedicated to her. So this dish we are going to cook in a pressure cooker. If you didn't have one, you, you just need to cook it till the tinda is well cooked. It could take about say 20 minutes of covered cooking. To start with, I have taken a tablespoon of oil. We'll add a little bit of cumin seeds to it. We'll add one large chopped onions to this. There we go. It's good to use some grated ginger. I don't have. I have some chopped ginger. Sorry, uh, that's garlic, not ginger. Uh, and I'm going to grate some gin uh, ginger to this. There we go. And we'll cook this onion till it's translucent. So the onion has turned uh, translucent. I have lowered the flame. I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric powder, that's about quarter teaspoon. We'll add one teaspoon of cumin powder. We'll add one teaspoon of coriander powder. There we go. And we'll add one teaspoon of garam masala. And lastly, this gets its unique taste because of sambar powder. I have with me triple seven brand sambar powder. That's what I use. I'm going to add just one and a half teaspoon of it. That's the only one that's also going to make it uh, chili hot or spicy. We will just give this a stir. I'm lucky here that the heat really had come down when I lowered the flame. We'll salt this and you want to add chopped tomatoes one and a half times that of the onions. And we'll just cook this till the tomatoes soften up. On a slightly <laughs> late thought I also decided to introduce two green chilies. These are uh, finger long uh, green chilies. They are not spicy, but if you wanted it spicier, you could add some Thai green chili to this. But I'm just adding that to give it some good aroma. And we'll continue to cook these tomatoes till they are really soft. So the tomatoes are beautifully softened. What we'll do here is add a cup of hot water so that we don't drop the boiling point of this dish. <coughs> there we go. And I have the cut tinda. As you can see, they are very, very tender and they have no seeds. We'll drop the tinda in. We'll allow this to come to a first boil. Till then we'll keep the cooker open and cook this. It may perhaps need just a little bit more water. There we go. One of the things you want to do is to avoid what is called as a boil over, which is in an Indian pressure cooker. It has this weight and whether when it uh, pressurizes and releases the pressure, the content inside tends to boil out and you know starts to pour over the, uh, the lid to avoid that wait for it to come to a good boil then you close the lid wait for the steam to come then you put the weight that will avoid a boil over so this has begun to boil nicely this is the time 
we are just going to close the lid wait for a steady steam and drop in the weight two whistles is what it needs and it will be perfectly cooked and two whistles later you can see that the cooker top is pretty clean here we are and also a clean under lid so this is done and it's ready there we go hope you enjoyed the video you can make this with virtually any kind of vegetable like even potatoes or any kind of gourd